Podcast. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Jonathan Trapp. Uh, I have the pleasure of chairing the Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion Task Force of the Town of Trumbull, and I'm uh, pleased to welcome everybody to this special meeting, although I'm saddened for its occasion. Um, I would ask, as, as we begin, that everybody please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance, pledge allegiance to the flag, to the flag of the United States, United of, America States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Um, uh, Joanne, just for roll call, I'll, I'll state that everybody on the committee is in attendance, and we are joined, obviously, as well by yourself, by Jim Cordon, and by Bill Chin. Uh, thank you, everybody, for um, taking the time this evening to join us in a special meeting. Uh, because this is a special meeting, we are not going to take time to invite comments from the public, but we have a regularly scheduled meeting in two weeks, at which time we would be very glad to hear uh, from members of the public on, obviously, the subject of our discussion tonight or any other uh, item of interest that, that might come before us. So... Uh, I called the special meeting this evening to have the opportunity for us to discuss in this committee, which an item which I think is very much within our purview, uh, the distribution within the town of uh, leaflets spreading hate by a neo-Nazi group. And I understand that uh, everybody on the committee is familiar with that and has seen the leaflets. Um, I, I have taken the liberty of drafting a statement that we might consider uh, releasing. But before we get to that, um, I, I wanted to open it up, up for any discussion that people wanna have more generally. Uh, and, and then we can move to the, to the possibility of uh, releasing a joint statement and we can talk further about uh, if we release it, how we release it and in, in what forms. But uh, if anybody wants to, um, provide any remarks, have any discussion about the, the incident itself, aside from the statement we might consider, I'd be happy to have that conversation. Okay, so um, I, I, let's then turn to the subject of the statement. Um, I, I, um, I'll share it on the screen and I'll read it out loud so that uh, folks can um, see it. Let me know if uh, you don't have it. There, everybody see the statement? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So for the sake of anybody who might be listening and, and not looking at the screen, the statement, uh, the proposed statement reads, we the Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion Task Force of the Town of Trumbull stand united against hate, discrimination, and bigotry. It is with deep concern that we address an incident that recently occurred within our community. The distribution of hateful leaflets in our town by a neo-Nazi group is an affront to the values of tolerance and inclusivity that we hold dear. We wish to extend our heartfelt gratitude to First Selectman Tesoro, Chief of Police Lombardo, and both the Trumbull Republicans and Trumbull Democrats for swiftly and unequivocally denouncing this hateful act. Their immediate response sends a powerful message that hate has no place in our community. We are heartened by their commitment to upholding the principles of inclusion and respect that define the town of Trumbull. Let it be clear that our community values diversity, equity, and inclusion. We reject the venomous ideology espoused by hate groups and firmly denounce the distribution of such leaflets in our town. We stand together against hatred and will continue to work to ensure that every resident of Trumbull, regardless of race, religion, gender, sexual orientation, or background, is treated with dignity and respect, which we all deserve. In times such as this, it is essential that we come together as a community to support one another. Trumbull is made stronger by its diverse members and we reaffirm our unwavering commitment to fostering an environment of inclusivity, understanding, and acceptance. Uh, proposed to be signed 
Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion Task Force, Town of Trumbull, Connecticut, with each of our names. Um, that's the, the statement. Does, does anyone, anybody want me to leave it up for uh, uh, potential specific comments, or shall I take it down so we can better see one another? You can take it down. I'm good. Okay. So uh, I, I will, if it needs to go back up, I'm happy to put it back up. Does, does anybody have um, comments, thoughts, suggestions, concerns, of either about the statement or anything else that, that you'd like to discuss, Shala? <clears throat> Thank you. I just have one, a tiny suggested revision to language in the first paragraph. Uh, the last sentence talks about um, it being an affront to our values of tolerance and inclusivity. I would um, offer that we should maybe put equity and inclusivity there. Um, a lot of the, the sort of connotation around tolerance has shifted in the, the space of diversity, equity, and inclusion because tolerance suggests putting up with versus equity, which which suggests, you know, honoring and celebrating uh, the diversity of, of people and ensuring equity. So I would propose that we change values of tolerance to values of equity and inclusivity. That, that's fine with me. Does anybody else have a different view or a concern with that change? Now I'm gonna ask you to put it back up so I can read what, she, what Chala just noted. Sure. So uh, what she's suggesting is that this would read yeah. that way. Yeah, good change. Whoops, sorry. Tara. Thank you. And thank you for taking the time to draft this letter. Um, I just had one clarification at the very end of the signature. Um, underneath edit, town of Trumbull CT, is that notating that edit is of the town or are we saying that the town of Trumbull is co-signing this? Oh, it was intended to say that we are the Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion Task Force of the Town of Trumbull, Connecticut. So perhaps we would add the word of after task force or uh, simply do Trumbull's equity diversity. I'm, I'm happy to do it this way. Whoops. If that works for you. Any other comments, suggestions for improvement? Okay. Um, before we maybe move to a, a motion to uh, issue the statement on behalf of the committee, uh, we can talk a little bit about how we would distribute it. I'm inclined certainly to uh, have us posted on our social media page uh, it makes sense to me to put it up on our page on the town website. And uh, although the Trumbull Times hasn't been publishing very much that I've been sending to them, uh, they might publish this. And I certainly would be inclined to send it to uh, the Trumbull Times and frankly, maybe the Connecticut Post. Um, are there thoughts to add to that, to where it should go or, or maybe whether it shouldn't go to any of those places? Shala? Um, not a thought per se, but um, a channel, I guess. Um, the reporter who had reached out to speak to me about the community panel um, has uh, responded to me and is still interested in speaking. And so we've been exchanging some emails. At, uh, she works for the Connecticut Post. And so I anticipate that if I were to forward this to her and ask her to get it in to the Connecticut Post that she could try to do that. Okay. So um, that's fine with me, unless others have a different view. I'll send it to you to, to see if we can get it into the paper that way. Um, I'll send it to, um, Bill, is it right to send it to you or to Patty to try to get it up on the website? And uh, I'll ask Tara to put it up on our social media page. Uh, again, assuming I'm taking for granted, but uh, that, that we will in fact issue the statement. 
A any other um, thoughts? Okay. So um, I guess I would then ask if there's a motion to issue the statement on behalf of the committee unanimously and to distribute it as we've described to the Connecticut Post and Trumbull Times on the town website and the um, edit Facebook page. So moved. Is there a Second. second? Uh, Joanne, you can decide who won that. Um, so <laughs> any further discussion? All right, hearing none, all in favor? Joanne, that was carried unanimously. Um, I thank you all for taking the time to uh, have this special meeting, to consider the statement, and to, to uh, join as a committee in speaking with one voice to address uh, this particular uh, scourge on the town. Um, I think I'll call for a motion to adjourn at this point, unless anybody one, has anything one, else. One, but Joanne. One. Can you send me a copy so I can include it in the minutes? Well, certainly. Thank you. A anything else? Okay, so um, uh, I'll, is there a motion to adjourn? I move to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. Second. Okay, all in favor? Okay, so that's also unanimous. Uh, Bill, would you take us down and folks can hang on for just a second?